the best way to start defining anthropology is perhaps by what it's not. We're not, unfortunately perhaps, Indiana Jones-like figures finding treasures in cowboy hats with whips attached. Although we will catch up with two anthropologists in northern Queensland who wear the Australian equivalent of cowboy hats. We're also not generally concerned with dinosaurs and leave that for the paleontologists. Nor do we study insects, that's for the entomologists. Social or cultural anthropology is about people, the environments they inhabit and the things they get up to. But I'm getting ahead of myself because we traveled across the US and Australia to ask some leading anthropologists about their definitions. Here's what they came up with to the question, what is anthropology? Anthropology is um, telling other people's stories so that we can um, understand human difference. Uh, and in an increasingly um, globally interconnected world, uh, understanding human difference uh, has become increasingly important. You know, it's really very important for us to know how other people live, how other people, uh, their, their passions, their desires, but also their, <clears throat> the conflicts in their lives, uh, their issues, basically. And uh, the more we know about how uh, other people live, the better we can live ourselves. It's not about um, lab work, or at least not the kind of anthropology that I do. It's not about um, quantification, numbers and formulas and things. It's about going out into the world and talking to people and meeting them as equals and getting to understand their lives and their worlds. And um, through the perspective of people living, those lives and that that was fascinating to me when I was 19 and it still is today. Oh, anthropology is the modern science of human behavioral variation. That's the short version. It's an exploration of the paradox of human plurality. The fact is that all human beings are in some sense the same. We're all members of the same species. We have millions of years of evolution that has made us what we are today. And the period of our cultural evolution is relatively small by contrast. So the period that in which we have become different culturally, ethnically, in appearance is, is only a small part of our evolutionary history. But we are both, as it were, the same as all other human beings, and every individual is absolutely different, genetically and in, in character. And I think anthropology is, is, is possibly the most alluring and, uh, and edifying way of exploring plurality. So I think anthropology is, uh, on the one hand, a perspective. It, it's about um, valuing um, sort of local knowledge and uh, learning about the world based on how um, people understand the world and their place within it. So it's, it's a perspective based on meaning and, and everyday life. Um, it's also a method um, based on long-term participant observation. So living with a group of people for a long time and realizing that if what we're interested in uh, is meaning and culture and people's everyday lives, then we, act, we have to live that. We have to sort of experience the world as, as other people do. A short definition of anthropology, the way you practice it, what would it be? Um, I guess, you know, the study of traditions, beliefs, and practices. And I mean, I know that that sounds very broad. I think anthropology can be interpreted in a number of ways. Questions should be led by the subject. You know, you can go in with your own research question and you'll often end up as an anthropologist in a completely different direction because you're following the lead of the people you're talking to. You're finding out what matters to them, what's important to them. And you know, I, I don't think that's necessarily unique to anthropology, but I do think it's something that people strive for. It's actually thought of as a virtue and not a fault, you know, not as a flawed research plan, but as a, you know, pragmatic and accurate representation of what people are really experiencing. And, you know, and I, I support that. When you're in the field, you just feel like you're overwhelmed with experiences, sights, sounds, sensations, feelings. And uh, you have to learn to take risks. You have to think inductively. You have to make connections. You have to be willing to tinker. You have to accept failure, uh, welcome it, and move on in a healthy way. And those are all things that people actually do when they search for information. Anthropology is the study of humans by any means necessary. And specifically cultural anthropology that, 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 that we do 
um, is, is very much influenced by bringing the methods of participant observation ethnography to understanding um, what's around us, whether it's where we live or somewhere far away. And the crucial thing is that anthropology has this insight it brings to understanding human society and human culture, which is um, that everyone lives within their logics, that we're, that, that we're creatures of logic in some sense. That nothing is right or wrong, it just has a logic. And our, our duty, to put it that way, as anthropologists, is to uncover the logic of the people that we want, want to understand or the setting that we want to understand. So in that sense, you know, studying, I wasn't going to pass a moral judgment on being heroin addicted or, or, or selling crack or something. I was just going to understand methodologically um, and practically um, how they understood doing that. So this question is about how would you describe anthropology in a nutshell? Okay. Well, like to say to you and to the students, it's not something that you just check off in a multiple choice test. Mm. If you're given a question in this MOOC or in some other test, what is anthropology and you only have five choices, they're so all I, wrong. I can't do that now. For the <laughs> well, you'll do what you want. That's not for me to say. But, but, I, but <laughs> um, I don't want you to think it's this definite thing. And to be honest, I'm not always sure what anthropology is. I work in the Pacific. History and anthropology totally overlap. Um, it overlaps with sociology, overlaps with politics and economics. One of the key points of anthropology, as I said, the context shapes behavior. And so anthropologists, to understand what may seem exotic behaviors, understand the context in which people behave. And so this idea of understanding how people live in their context, understanding the differences from us, and what we can learn from them and what they can learn from us, how we can help them and how they can help us, is really sort of sense like a calling. It's a passion that allows us to really enrich the lives of those around us as well as ourselves.